Hey guys, welcome back to Westbridge. Um, did a little bit more scripting um, today um, to finish up our uh, new uh, 775 ECAT Challenger. Uh, currently have it um, hooked up to Raphael's Ecolo uh, 870. Um, uh, just on the drawbar here. Engines running on a uh, small kitty. Then we got our big kitty. This guy hasn't um, had a second revision yet, but he, uh, big boy, is on uh, the 26, 23, uh, 50 foot disc. So uh, this is also a really nice uh, implement. Then we have our DB uh, 60 planner. Uh, Raphael's uh, 9560 RT is over there. We have our DN. Uh, so this is just kind of my testing map, just to test uh, a few mods and stuff, so... Um, I'm currently in... Um, so I'm going to have to use this because it doesn't really like my HUD hider, so... Uh, we have uh, noise, so... Um, our cab will get a little quiet when we open and close the door nice little feature um, telescoping and um, tilting um, steering wheel then we have uh, blinkers that function with IC now um, so you can do that then you can do the other blinker with IC as well um, turn on your main lights with the uh, interactive control which is really convenient um, can come over here and raise our ladder as you can see um, the working cylinder which is nice uh, can go ahead and um, slowly move out our tracks if we want a little bit more wider stance um, also can open our hood nice uh, view with the transparent meshes um, and obviously the lights um, are part of the hood so they follow nice um, what else can we do we can I forget what this function is this is our wipers um, they don't they're not currently they don't have this current uh, script um, and the three-point hitch uh, works if you have something attached to it. It raises and lowers. Um, we have our PTO. Uh, we have our beacons. We turn those on. Okay, turn off our beacons. Okay, turn on our warning lights. So those are all functioning now. Turn those off. Could turn on our front work lights. Turn those off, turn on our back working lights so we can get a nice view of the back. Um, what else? Um, and then um, our internal lights, our cabin, cabin lights. So, And then of course they're all powered by keyboard as well so what I think I'll do is I'll just go plow a little bit we got our gauges going you can really hear the uh, turbo whistle it's nice and quiet and then um, gets louder as you exit the cab I, I like it. It may be a little bit quiet, but um, it's definitely nicer than... Yeah, you can really hear that turbo whistle now. Oh yeah, and then um, what else can we do? Uh, we got new seats. Uh, we can lower our buddy's seat and raise up our armrest. Um, 
you can do outside the cab too, you can raise this up and lower that. Uh, I really like the new seats I put in here and seat textures, really uh, um, dresses up the whole cab. Set up uh, working with a, like whatever it is, 6.5. Yeah. Turn on our rear working lights and our front working lights. Get it nice, nice illuminated. Nice white stance on our tracks uh, to reduce compaction. You can hear that turbo really work. our speed to like nine so overall I'm pretty happy with how everything has come together on this now now uh, I just have to use it I uh, really like the new textures and the new modeling and new scripting and a lot of the IC functions are a lot better now when we got to our suspension cab. It's uh, going to be pretty enjoyable to use actually. Nice mirrors. Obviously, we open the door, it gets louder. I uh, really improved the interior quite a bit, so it looks quite a bit nicer now. Quiet cab. Turn on our cabin lights. Say like something something goes down, so you gotta work on your machine, you can do this. Um, unfold your ladder there. Open up the door and then bam. Pretty sweet looking ride. I um, really like uh, transparency. So you can actually see all the work I did on the engine, frame, a lot of work on the frame, and the um, hitch is still kind of uh, goofy. Um, these things are always goofy, but definitely going to be fun to pull a small little drain cart on or. Um, <laughs> See if I can hit that button out here. Here we go. That's cool. Come over here and hit, um, hit the 
track button, shrink up the tracks a little bit. This thing's a pretty sweet looking rig. Now we just gotta get a 13 shank E. Colo and Actually, well, it's not that little, it's like 400 and some horsepower. Nice turbo whistle, it's great. I do is finish my land roller and build the uh, 2730 and then I'll be able to uh, go back and redo the big big uh, challenger make it uh. nice thing is really all I had to do is build a new hood and then just uh, retexture um, a few things like the, the ladder and the frame and the cab the cab will be exactly the same so that's one less thing I have to do If you want a little bit louder noise, open the door, flip up the steering wheel.
lights on. doing a little bit more testing so um, thanks for watching